Hi. I have been talking about anxiety and how you can deal with anxiety. I've been sharing a lot of tips and tricks for you to get over the anxious situation all of us are in. And I'm hoping that you have gone through those videos and are making good use of it. And as a series finale, I'm sitting down with an expert. He and I spoke on how you can help prevent anxious situations because social distancing is now a new normal. There's going to be a lot of changes once the lockdown ends. So how do we prepare ourselves to deal with such situations? Let's listen into the expert. He calls himself as an entrepreneur shrink. Dr. Kaukar has been transforming lives of thousands of people for the past 30 years. An alchemist who loves mixing neural and behavioral sciences with psychotherapy, hypnotherapy, past life regression therapy, and integrated behavioral coaching in his holistic leadership clinic. To know more about him and to get connected, do check his details in the description below. Now let's get on with the conversation. Uh, good evening, doctor. Welcome to my channel. Hi, good evening to you too. The questions that we mostly think of when we are facing with this kind of situations, when, like, you know, the, the lockdown has been extended, the social distancing, which has supposedly become a new normal. What is it Correct. that all of us as individuals do uh, in order to prevent any kind of an anxiety attack, stress and anxiety that comes along with something uh, that we are facing? Correct. Correct. So a lot of lot of callers are uh, during the day where people are going through a lot of emotional turmoil and uh, because of this lockdown period and majority of them are expressing their emotions in terms of what it is they are feeling uh, which is specifically related to stress and anxiety. Mm -hmm. Now uh, very briefly stress is something that you take on when something of your personal is at stake. And anxiety is a state where it is a physical mixture with emotions as well as the uh, mental issues that are there. So your physical body now responds to your mental and emotional stress. Right. So anxiety is something that you cannot control. Okay? Okay. It needs to be managed. It is a normal response of the brain to, for anxiety. Mm -hmm. So while managing anxiety, there are a couple of things that we normally talk to or tell our clients in, in these lines. So the first thing I tell them is please accept the feelings that you are experiencing. Okay. Okay. Don't negate them, don't negate them, don't camouflage them in any any form. Okay. So please accept what you are going through. The moment you accept it, okay, then you have a choice now. How do you want to respond? So very briefly, I, there is a there is a technique that I use. It's called the A B C D E technique. Uh, which I normally use with most of the clients who are going through uh, an anxiety attack or they're feeling anxious or they're mm -hmm. even having a panic attack. Can this, we, can we also use this technique to prevent ourselves from getting Yes, there? you can. Okay. Yes, okay. you can. Okay. So the moment you, you realize that there are some symptoms in your body. Now, very briefly, what are the symptoms that you can experience in this process? The first symptom you can experience is sometimes some people experience this tightening in the chest. Some people experience lack of sleep okay, or insomnia that we say. Some people are not able to relax even if they try on some meditation and things, still they are not able to relax. Hmm. Some people have aches and pains in different parts of their body. Some people also have problems in digestion and some people have palpitation and constipation. Oh. So these are all physical wow. manifestations of what anxiety does to the body. Now, if you follow, and you, can, oh, sorry, uh, and you can have one or more of these, right? Yes, you can have a couple of them together. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So out of the ABCDE technique, the first A stands for attention. Okay? Please stop everything that you're doing and just listen to what your mind is telling you. Okay. Give all your attention to those distressed feelings that you're feeling in your body. Okay? Right. Having given attention to that, having understood what your body is trying to tell you, what your mind is trying to tell you, then we move on to the B part of it which is belief. Now normally over here I tell people that you do not automatically believe every thought, every emotion that you are experiencing. Mm. Okay, you have a choice. Okay, So like we normally say and people are today now very well aware of it, you have approximately 70,000 thoughts per day and out of these 70,000 thoughts per day, 77% of your daily thinking is negative or self-damaging. 
Now, if you understand this part that every thought that you have is not necessary to be believed in, then you can bring down this number and in the same manner, you can reduce your anxiety or stress. So the C part of it is where you challenge the particular thought that is there. And simply when I say challenge, you can have a counter thought which is bigger and which talks about the bigger picture. For example, normally ask, okay, for, uh, you know, in case you are going through a panic attack, ask yourself this question. Okay, how would I feel if I was normal, calm, composed and in control of the situation? The moment you challenge the previous thought by saying that what if or how, how do I do feel when I feel a calm, composed, this anxiety will automatically drop down. The panic that you're going through will automatically drop down into, into a where of more uh, manageable scenario. The next D part of it is called discount. Okay. Now, when I say discount, you need to ask yourself this question. Is the thought that I'm having right now helpful or is it unhelpful? Is it helpful to me and the people around me or is it un unhelpful for me and people around me? The moment you realize that this thought is unhelpful, you will immediately stop having that thought and you can be able to control your mind and you control the anxiety that you're going through. The last key part of it is for explore. Okay. So what would be helpful to focus on right now? So you now ask your mind to explore other aspects, other avenues that are there when it comes to going through this panic or going through this anxiety feeling. So right now I'm feeling anxious, but what else can I experience right now? So this time probably when I say explore, you can also distract your mind and think about maybe past happy moments that you spent you know, family time that you've had or, or an overseas trip that you've had or something which is nice, which is happy, which does not create that much stress or, or anxiety in you. So by using the ABCD technique, a lot and lot of the stress and anxiety that you are going through can be monitored, can be controlled and you can keep yourself calm and composed and not fall into as a victim of stress and anxiety. Sorry, I didn't realize I was on mute. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. So right now I'm not anxious. Okay. Right now I do not have any feelings. I'm, I'm super happy that uh, lockdown is happening. I'm super happy. I have time to spend with my family, which I've never done. Uh, I'm exploring all the hobbies that I wanted to do. I'm playing with my pets. I'm playing with my children. So I'm very happy right now. Okay. When do you think, when do you think that that happiness of being, uh, you know, in, in the situation that we are in a happiness, can convert into an anxious situation. Okay. Will that so happen? Can, yeah, of course it happens. Of course it happens. So many a times there could be an external trigger. For example, you are in an extremely good, elated state of mind. You are happy, you are joyous. And suddenly on television or on WhatsApp or on any social media, you hear the news, oh, today 150 new cases were found and 25 new deaths have happened. Okay. okay. So you may be in a good state of mind, but the external information that has come in, that is enough for you to trigger hmm. and the anxiety. To know about it. It. And, and to begin with, you're not aware of it. And after a few more thoughts, you, you start engaging in those thoughts and then you realize, oh my God, I suddenly become anxious. Okay. For example, you know, there is this uh, WhatsApp ad that is going on on TikTok and other things and all. Okay, 3rd May is, is when it will open and suddenly someone comes and writes instead of 3rd, it's 30th of May. Mm. Now the news that an opinion or a news that somebody has said, okay, the lockdown will continue till 30th of May. Okay, now this is somebody's opinion. Now your mind will take that as a fact. Mm. And the moment it accepts that as a fact, it will start triggering anxious and stress moments. Are bapre, now still I have another month to go, another 25 days more, another thing. People have already started calling up and saying, Sir, oh, Dr. Sahab, three tarikh ka, atra tarikh bol rahe, ab do kya karu? You know, how will I be able to manage? Because right. right now what is happening is all the fun, all the cooking, all the time pass, all those things, you have explored all options. And now there is no real deadline that is coming ke when this whole lockdown will, will open up. So these kind of news that come and trickle, you know, they are enough to set you off balance and they are enough to create stress and tension for you. Right. So what I normally tell people is to stay away as much as possible from all this propaganda and all the opinions 
and opinion makers that are there on whatsapp and social media and facebook stay as far as possible from negative news excellent uh, there's also one more type which again is of course uh, coming from whatsapp university is that uh, more and more influencers are now coming up with videos on uh, how many not just influencers i'm also talking about analyst reports which are coming out and saying this particular industry is going to go down in for example aviation industry it's going to go down in, down the drain oil and gas industry is going to go down the drain there's a uh, construction industry real estate industry so there are many analyst reports and other reports which probably are drilling it into our head that of course yes uh, the world is not going to be the same as it is if we knew of pre covid era but having said that these doomsday conspiracies that people are telling that it's going to end and so many people is that i mean is there any merit in it and second is uh, i've been talking to a couple of entrepreneurs who who are in these industries you know and they face a lot of mental trauma because now at least they have a idea that they'll get back to work especially if you have if you are in a labor intensive uh, industry you know you'll get back to uh, you know work if not now maybe a month maybe a end of it this year but to say that you know this industry is not going to be the same or this industry is stop functioning is a little too far fetched is what i feel however it's everywhere correct. and it's been given by influencers correct so um i'm sure that information um, you said about uh, uh, what diet was that uh, i i call it as information diet information diet yes that should be able to help us isn't it on this correct 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 so there are there is there is one particular thing that i, I talk about whenever people say are there is a mckinsey report mm -hmm. okay or there is there is so and so uh, uh, report that is come out from uh, so i tell them boss this is that organizations opinion based on how they have analyzed the data right and this is not sacrosanct they are just giving you analysis of the data that they have mined of the data that they have looked at and while data mining or while while doing an analysis of data they have looked at data only and only from a certain perspective correct correct every situation has multiple perspectives but i normally tell people ke please don't go by all these analysis take it always with a pinch of salt okay yeah. this is what they say but not necessary that it will happen the way they say it correct so it yeah. is not for a fact it is an opinion of an organization and if you learn to distinguish between an opinion and a fact you will be far more comfortable in dealing with situations around you great yes because i remember telling them that uh, if you do think about doomsday situation what are you doing to overcome it because now you know Correct. that there's going to be doom and gloom after end of, by end of this year Correct. Correct. how are you people so use it, use, you it use it use it to your advantage exactly okay. so use it to your advantage and within that okay if like, like i have a couple of clients who are from the travel industry you know uh, so they came and say okay abhi doctor sir kya hoga hamara so i said one thing is can you sustain for next 6 months without any income if not then look for some other source of income at least for the next 6 months okay mm -hmm. so you need to start doing an introspection and you need to say okay if not this then what mm -hmm. okay then there are scenarios where where you can even upskill yourself or reskill yourself okay look at industries where today people are still getting work mm -hmm. okay can you reskill yourself can you be flexible enough in your mind that okay if this i can park for 2 years for next 6 months i can or next one year i can get into another industry and maybe find something over there for myself which will keep my gas burner going for next 6 months to one year right. and then when situation to normalize i can come any time back to my my travel industry right. Okay? right so you need to look and explore different options for yourself if right now your industry is going to go through something like i said the travel industry hmm. or the petroleum industry so the abcd technique that uh, you spoke about uh, that should be able to help you get to this kind of a mindset right into yes. this mental yes 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 it will it will help you calm your nerves hmm. it will help you to slow down your thought process okay and it will make you in a state of mind where you can take rational decisions great great i think that's what all of us okay. want that yes yes the 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 normalization of state of mind where you can be rational and you can be balanced hmm. 
uh, in in your approach while you are thinking about options or thinking about and you don't get into you know desperation and you don't get into frustration and you don't get into any panic right excellent thank you so much doctor uh, i uh, that was absolutely um, beneficial to me definitely and also all the listeners i hope and uh, where do we reach you um, is there any place where we can reach you are you so, free to talk to people right now no 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 i am in fact i am i'm volunteering my time a lot with people in fact more than more than 150 calls have taken since the lockdown has started uh, where i have helped people out in terms of managing so i've had various kinds of experiences in the last one and a half month people going through stress anxiety frustration unfortunately domestic violence has gone up because people don't know how to behave in this kind of situation where you are locked in for 24 hours in a day so your behavioral patterns are changing and those kind of things mm-hmm. you can always reach uh, me at my cell number which is 9822636600 you can always reach me over there if i'm busy i'll call you back the moment i get uh, free but definitely if not me there are hundreds of uh, mental health counselors therapists psychologists anybody who can give you a patient hearing patient listening at this point of time can be beneficial it can be a friend it can be a family it can also be aparna for that matter thank you so much yes. yeah okay thank you aparna i really appreciate the great work that you are doing thank you wish so you much wish you all the best and wish your channel all the best thank you so much